Hello Stamper, welcome to Frenchie's video. I'm France Martin, independent demonstrator with Stamping Up and today I'm going to share with you how to do kind of a simple buffalo check but then we're going to emboss on it. I think this is make the perfect um, birthday card for masculine. So when I use a big background stamp set I like to put my silicone mat, even if, usually I just do that when it's um, photopolymer, but for this I like to uh, to uh, put my silicone mat in the back just because I think it's print better for a big background. So you don't have to press that hard. Another thing, so I just put my stamp down. I don't even, I try to put it straight, but sometimes a big background, you're not sure if it's just right. And then I stamp on my grid paper. So I would stamp, and it don't have to be the full uh, image, so I would just go ahead and stamp on it. Oops, that looked like I, you know what, doesn't matter if it's sim, uh, centimeters or inch. Let me make sure, I think I moved it, so let's just do this quick. And did you notice that I put um, a, um, a case in the back so it leaves my plate straight? Make sure this is in the corner. Now I'm going to do this, stamp on it. Okay, now I see my pattern. Now I'm going to take a piece of cherry cobbler that measure five and a quarter by four. I like to use repositionable tape. This is just scotch tape. I get that at uh, office supplies or maybe at Jolly World they got it. I just take that and put it there so I don't have to uh, reposition just right because I wouldn't remember. Now I can see my pattern and I can try to match that, that it make the perfect pattern. So, that's going to be leave. I think that's about right here. So I try to match that, that I get about the same thing all around. That look good to me. So now I know it's straight, straight, oops. It is straight all around. And because it's too hard to try to guess where it's going to go. So that way you can start exactly the piece of paper. If it's a smaller piece, you know exactly where to put it. Now I got my mental ink here. And we're going to ink this very well. And we're going to have to do that a few times because it is a big background st stamp. And not only that it's a big background stamp, it's detail kind of. So let's give a good impression let's open that up now you just make sure that your grid paper it's pushed in the corner see it's equally there on the side and on the side so it's very easy to line up your paper so you don't have to trim it after you know exactly your size that it went in so it don't matter the size of the paper that you're using because you start with the piece that the size you need and you can line it up that you get all proportioned correctly. Open this back up. And you see my paper don't move the, my cardstock because I get that uh, repositionable uh, tape in the back. If you don't have that, you can use just a little piece of snail. And when you peel it up, even if it pulled the grid paper a bit, that it's okay. So you can, you just need a little piece of tape to keep it in place. And sometimes I do three, four times, depend how deep I want my buffalo check there. Let's do one more time and then we're going to call it good. Here we go. And then the next step, we have to make sure our ink gets very dry. If not, when we're going to come to emboss, the embossing powder is going to catch on all the ink. Make sure it's all... Voila, that looks very good. Now we're going to remove this. And even if the tape is back there, that's perfectly fine. I'm going to use the heat tool to dry this. And even if I use the heat tool, it can be still damp. So what I recommend 
is that you use your embossing buddy. I feel, let me move this here a bit. Here we go. And tap this on. Now we're going to use um, the stamps that I'm using. It's rooted in nature. I'm using the big oak tree there. We're going to use that with Versamar. Here we go. And this time we're going to do, we did horizontal, now we're going to do vertical. So let's put that about right here. I'm going to smack that right here. Now we're going to use white embossing powder. You can use different color. I thought that would be striking. It's almost like an imprint on the shirt, you know. Okay, and now you're going to see exactly what I was saying. It was not dry enough. So this technique would be much better if you stamp it and let it dry completely. But if, if this happened, you see I get powder that's stuck where it shouldn't. What you're going to do, you're going to take a brush and just brush it off. And that wouldn't happen if my ink was completely dry. So I'm just removing this here. Let's So before we emboss, you have to do that before you emboss because if you em heat emboss right away, what's going to happen, it's going to melt right there, that powder. See, I just shake that up a bit there. So that, wouldn't, that would be a step that we wouldn't have to do if my uh, ink was completely dry and maybe a bit more of embossing um, buddy there. I should maybe rub it a little bit more. But you see, you can still save it no problem. I know I'm brave going in the between there, but that's good. Okay, now I think I'm ready. Here we go. Let's emboss that and let's see what we got. There we go. So it's very just one layer card. It's, I, I absolutely love this. I love the Buffalo Check. I cannot get enough of it. And you can see when it's embossed, it's turned kind of shiny. That means your powder, it's all melted. So now before I want to wipe that, we're going to let that dry. Because uh, it's still kind of sticky. So I'm using a basic black, so it's 8.5 by um, 5.5, score at 4 and a quarter. Could have put a little bit more tape here. Don't be so stingy, Frenchie. And I just stamp in black the little leaf in there. So I get plenty of place for my greeting. Now let me find my inky rag here. And the reason why I want to do that, I get still some of the powder on it. Here we go. Now we're going to adhere. Oops. Now see, the tape's removed right away. Especially when you eat and boss, it's removed the thickness of whatever the sticky part. Oops. Here we go. I sure lo do love my fast fuse. Uh, it was still some in the clearance rack. I don't know if it's still there. So I could have put the white in the bag and so on. I want it very... I don't know if Lumberjack is a good a name for it. Here we go. Now, I use the Happy Birthday from the Perennial uh, Birthday, and I just stamped that on a piece of uh, Whisper White that measure what? Uh, about seven, eight, really three quarter would be uh, right by five, but that is too long. So I'm going to snip this here. I would go about by four four and a quarter max and then you can do your little banner because we're going on the other direction so it can not be as long
and then what I done I use my bone folder and the top and the top and then the center go under so I get a nice little banner we're going to use glue dots I'm going to put two at each end and then we're going to put that right here very plain and simple but I think it's very very masculine here we go my friend this is how I done the embossing with the buffalo check I mean the buffalo check background and embossing on top it looked like a lovely print don't you think so so thank you so much all the supply measurement going to be on my blog you get the direct link below or above in the high and also below in um, the right corner you get the subscribe button if you're not a subscriber i would appreciate that and if you love this don't forget to give me the thumbs up thank you and have a lovely day my friend bye bye for now